Welcome to Topic A, everyone. I'm your host, Gary Perna. This week on Topic A, I'm joined by Dan Muser. He's running for Congress in the 11th Congressional District, the seat currently held by Congressman Lou Barletta. Why Dan says he's running, what he's looking to do in Washington, D.C., and why the people of the 11th Congressional District should listen to Dan and really know what he stands for. That's what we're going to talk about this week on Topic A, so don't go anywhere, right here on WYLN. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones minutes away. That's right, you're just minutes away from a great deal on a new car, truck, or SUV from Barbara Ford. Two great locations, Exeter and Hazleton. The best deals on America's number one brand are just 25 minutes from Frackville, 26 minutes from Jim Thorpe, 28 minutes from Tamaqua, 20 minutes from Shabertown, and 28 minutes from Clark Summit. Barbara Ford in Exeter and Hazleton. Online at barbaraautogroup.com where nobody but nobody sells for less. If you haven't found the perfect fishing getaway, you haven't been to Captain's Cove. Located on Henderson Harbor in upstate New York, Captain's Cove offers a variety of accommodations to please just about anyone. The motel, also located on the harbor, offers a magnificent view. Enjoy free morning coffee, air-conditioned rooms, cable TV, and HBO. The cottage can accommodate up to eight people with three bedrooms, a complete kitchen, washer-dryer, two full baths, air conditioning, an outside grill, and picnic table. Call us today for rates and information at 1-800-824-FISH. Watch off the beaten path on WYLN TV 35 and discover the Pennsylvania you never knew existed. And welcome back to Top Gear, everyone here on WYLN TV. I'm Gary Perna. I'm very pleased to have with me Dan Muser, who is running for the 11th congressional seat, currently held by Lou Barletta. And Dan, so, uh, thanks so much for coming on with me. My pleasure, Gary. Thanks very much for having me. Um, you were kind of one of the first guys out of the gate when Lou announced that he was running for Senate, that you were going to run for Congress. And I want the people in our viewing area to know about you and, and what you stand for. So if you could, give me a little background about who Dan is uh, and what you stand for for really um, as a Republican who is trying so hard to help fix our government as it is. Well, I appreciate that. And I think that's one of the reasons that my campaign is building steam and we're gaining a lot of support uh, because people do see my experience uh, as that of someone who can be a very effective member of Congress. Mm -hmm. uh, I lived in the district for almost 30 years. Uh, my wife and I, a uh, wife of 27 years, raised our children here. I helped build a business. Uh, in, in Luzerne County. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, make uh, power mobility devices, sell them and uh, design them and manufacture and sell worldwide. Uh, I served as revenue secretary, so I went from the private sector uh, 25 years into the uh, public sector. Uh, did a good job there. Uh, as a result of our work trying to transform the Department of Revenue, the Commonwealth Department of Revenue mm -hmm. from a traditional tax collection agency into a taxpayer advocacy organization was no easy task, mm -hmm. but we made some great strides. We were actually named the most improved Department of Revenue during that time. So I think a record of experience, a record of effectiveness, mm -hmm. uh, a record of bringing business experience to this office, uh, which really can mean, I think, some very good things for, for, for people here at home. Mm -hmm. And I'm a conservative. Uh, I, I believe in conservative principles through and through. And I, I will be a very consistent voice for the people of the 11th District in Washington on the issues and helping our president enact his America First agenda. 
And that's something that seems to be a big priority right now it is the American for, uh, first with President Donald Trump. Uh, I know uh, current Congressman Barletta it was very instrumental uh, in getting that message to us here in northeastern Pennsylvania. But for you right now, with, with so much that is going on and there's so many uh, coming out against our current president and so many are saying that he doesn't know what he's talking about, why is it important for you, you know, to make sure we get that message and know that we need to put America first here and we yeah. need to make sure businesses are growing here at home and not abroad where it's not really helping us? Yeah. Lou Barlett is a friend. Uh, Lou knows firsthand that who replaces him needs to be a business experienced problem solver, mm -hmm. not a problem finder, not a finger pointer, not an excuse maker and we have too many of them in Washington. Lou has taken on leadership there and has shown, shown the courage to, uh, to do what's right and to do everything possible to help the president. Now he's gonna move on to the Senate and, and play a bigger role there. Um, I will be down in Washington helping move things forward, mm -hmm. uh, not being part of the crowd that, that finds problems, part of the crowd, the few actually, that, um, uh, that, that solve problems. And, and it's very important. Uh, we, uh, we've got some Im important issues on hand. Mm -hmm. You can't make uh, good the enemy of perfect. Uh, you have to have the experience and ability to work with people on the same note, never leaving the conservative principles of, of pro-growth, uh, e economic um, uh, initiatives, mm -hmm. strong military, drain the swamp, I call that accountability in government, mm -hmm. a government for the people. Uh, currently, people feel they're losing faith and trust in our government, uh, and rightfully so, because of the acts and things that take place. And I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be the antithesis of that. I'm gonna be the opposite. I'm gonna be the people's voice in Washington every single day and have the communication skills and the technology usage mm -hmm. to make sure they know what we're doing, why we're doing it, and, and, and um, if things do get held up, the people are going to know exactly why, if I'm their member of Congress. What was the one thing that, that triggered your, um, your full-fledged into running this? What was the one thing uh, in the past year that kind of said, I have to do this? Well, number one, I love my country, and I don't like what's happening in Washington. There are far too many on both sides of the aisle, by the way. Certainly of the, the Democrats, but we do have Republicans as well that, are, that seem to be their, their number one profession is to, is to get in the way of projects. And I will tell you this, Gary, if we, if we lose Lou's seat, lose Barletta's seat to a liberal, that mm -hmm. would be the worst outcome possible. If we lose it, however, to a Republican who does nothing but get in the way of, of, of the president, well, that's not, that's not the sort of outcome we're looking for either. So I believe my experience will allow me to be a very effective member of Congress. Um, the, the, the support I'm gaining tells me that, that, that people uh, believe that to be the case. Uh, and I, 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 I know I can uh, fill the shoes of, of Lou Barletta in the type of services that are made available uh, throughout the district. Having a very responsive, um, available uh, staff and people so is that we're just a, a part of that, a very positive part of the community and the district as a whole. I, I know this district is very large. Uh, Columbia, Montour, Wyoming counties and the parts of uh, Carbon, Cumberland, Dolphin, Luzerne, Northumberland, and Perry County. So it, it's pretty stretched out um, through. Did you have Wyoming in there? Why, yep, okay. all of Wyoming. Right. Um, pretty stretched out through Pennsylvania. Um, I can only imagine right now, you logged some miles uh, trying to get out uh, and meet everyone. What is the one thing that you've been hearing constant from the voters uh, in this district that they really want to see uh, you know, in the next congressman? They, they don't want the excuses. They don't want the blame game. They want to know that there's a plan that will have the positive effects on their lives, a plan that will re re start reducing the size of an ever-growing government, mm -hmm. a plan to lower taxes, a plan to remove heavy regulations uh, that, that stifle entrepreneurs and, and hurt farmers and hurt the, 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 the Pennsylvania family. Mm -hmm. uh, they wanna see a repeal and replacement of Obamacare, which is squeezing their personal incomes. The whole idea, what we need to do in government is, is set an environment. Government doesn't, doesn't 
create jobs. Mm -hmm. Government creates an environment, so the private sector creates the jobs. So what we need to do is we need to focus on the private sector, which is being done with this tax plan, lowering the, the, the corporate tax rates and the pass-through tax rates, which are the highest in the world, mm -hmm. by the way. Uh, as, so that will help, that is a pro-job initiative. And w when, you're, when, you, when you're a pro-job initiative, that's, that's a pro-family, that's pro-increase in wage. And what we need to do is lower the costs of, of, of living for the people of the 11th district and the American people as a whole. And when you have cost increases, such as what Obamacare has done, mm -hmm. and other regulations from, from energy prices to, um, to, to general fees and things of that nature, um, that, that's not a good thing for people. You know, people want to have faith in their government, and they're losing it readily, be, and, and again, for good reason, because nothing's getting done, mm -hmm. a lot of finger pointing, and uh, no responsibility being taken. You know, when you, when you spend 25 years in the private sector, when you live in an area for a while, you get accountable to people. You know what, you asked me a question a little while ago, what was the main thing that, that, that was my catalyst to run? And you know what it was? People asked me, people asked me. Uh, some, some people in political leadership, uh, some local commissioners, mm -hmm. township supervisors, but more importantly, my neighbors and others said, hey, Loose seat's becoming available. He's going to be our next U.S. Senator. You need to run for this. That, that to me, was very, very compelling. All right. We're going to take a short break right there. But when we come back, um, some of the priorities he's looking forward to, to tackle uh, when elected to the House of Representatives and what really sets him apart as a businessman for over 25 years here and why he really should be the guy we send to Congress. Stay with us. We'll be right back on WYLN. Everyone knows the pain, what happens when the power goes out. You don't know when that's going to come back on. With the automatic standby generator, that guessing game is gone. You have security, you have independence. And we also offer financing uh, as low as like 65 bucks a month. We have an A rating with Angie's List and we just won a super service award for them. So we don't do teaser prices, but there's a ton of stuff that's included in our packages. Call me directly. The wire goes for the holidays, there's no better place to have your holiday party or family get-together than Basili's Italian Restaurant and Pizzeria, 401 Claremont Avenue in Tamaqua. They have remodeled the entire restaurant with a new addition and cozy fireplace to add to the holiday spirit. Just call and book your party. You'll choose your dinner from a full menu, everything from pasta, chicken, veal, and seafood. The new bar will be open with all your favorite drinks. Basili's is open seven days a week, serving lunch and dinner. Dine in or take out. I was addicted to heroin and crack. And my choice was alcohol. I used anything that I could get my hands on. You know me. I'm the Addiction Network. Over one and a half million people have called for help. So why haven't you called? What are you waiting for? This year alone, one million people will die from drugs or alcohol. Addiction is a disease. Don't kid yourself. You can't beat it alone. Call now. The Addiction Network is here to take your call 24 hours a day. The call and consultation are free, but your time is running out. Don't wait until you lose your job, or even worse, lose your life. Don't wait until you're put in jail. Don't wait until your child dies. Call the Addiction Network now. I lost everything, and the only way to get my life back was to pick up the phone and call and go to treatment. Call 800-657-8879. That's 800-657-8879. SAFE, supporting autism and families everywhere, helps people with special needs live full and independent lives. They focus on serving individuals with autism in a variety of ways, including collaboration with service providers and agencies to provide resources to the autism community, one-on-one -on -one support as needed to direct families to appropriate resources, circulating timely information pertinent to the autism community, and monthly support group meetings in Hazleton and Kingston. For more information, call 570-822-7259. Visit them online at autismsafe.org. Tune in each week to WYLN TV 35 to watch the number one Hazleton-based broadcast television talk show, The Storm, hosted by Tiffany Cloud. Candidates, politicians, community leaders, and more appear on The Storm when they want to be heard. New shows air Wednesdays at 8 p.m. and these additional airtimes only on WYLN 
TV 35. We're your local network. Welcome back to Top of Gay here on WYLN, and I'm joined by Dan Muser, who is running for the 11th congressional seat here that represents really a large chunk of our viewing area in northeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, Dan, I want to go to, um, in your on your website, um, Muser for Congress, you have a Government for the People plan. And number two, uh, and, well, first of all, number one is keeping the American dream alive, which I think we, we really covered through the first part of it. Number two is fighting for stronger military and national security. Right now we see a lot uh, going on in our country and how we may be involved on a larger scale around the world and really making sure our military is properly uh, trained and ready and equipped for whatever may, uh, may happen. Uh, why is it important? Uh, and, and I know the president has beefed up our military uh, as well as much as he could. Why is it important to make sure this is a, a number two really priority for you and to make sure that our, our servicemen and women have what they need? Well, we, uh, the number, number one obligation, I think, of our federal government is to protect our citizens. Uh, and that means having a military uh, that uh, is effective, mm -hmm. uh, that is respected, uh, and and uh, can fight against those who want to do us harm. Uh, it needs to be focused on those who are enemies of our state. And clearly, we have enemies uh, in groups such as ISIS mm -hmm. uh, and in Islamic uh, extremists. Uh, so our military does need to be focused there. But on the same note, there are, there are many issues that, that we, we, we see in Korea uh, that, uh, that we need to be very ready for. Under eight years of uh, the Obama administration, we saw what happened when you minimize the respect of, a, of your military, okay? Half the world was burning for a number of years there. Mm -hmm. I mean, we saw upheavals, we saw problems, we saw, we saw terrorist acts. So um, that needs to change, and, and that is something that I, I, I know taxpayers are okay with. When they see their tax dollars going towards a strong military for the purpose of our national security, uh, that, that's, that's not something that you hear people complaining about. And that also includes border uh, security, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we cannot have porous borders. We, we need to, laws need to be abided by, and we need to know who's coming into our country and, and, and keep those out who aren't supposed to be in our country. So that's all part of national security as well. You know, part of it, frankly, is also public safety at home. Mm -hmm. We need to be backing those that are here at home working to keep us safe and, and, and prevent crime and, and, from, uh, and from danger. And, um, you know, and if, and if government doesn't have the back of those folks as well, our police, that's a very dangerous issue, too. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, uh, it's, you know, it's very important. And, uh, and, and it's, um, it's it, heck, it's not even number two. It, it's right in line with how to make, keep America as great as it can be. Why well, we're in the military before I, I go to the next topic. Uh, veterans, making sure our veterans are taken care of. We have we have a very heavily population of, of veterans right here in northeastern Pennsylvania. How do we make sure that they're always taken care of, yeah. coming home, and make sure they get the services they're that they they're rightfully entitled to? Yeah. You know what? There's nothing worse than hearing stories of veterans not receiving the sort of care and the long lines and the problems, and everybody's everybody's unhappy about it. Yet, frankly, I haven't seen the needle move. I haven't seen too many improvements occur. What's worse is veterans haven't seen them in, in a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Congress has to buckle down, lay out a plan, a plan that people can see, that veterans can see, that the veterans say, yes, this is in our interests, and then we need to enact that plan. Mm -hmm. And certainly one of the issues is allowing choice in getting their health care. If they're going to a veterans hospital, if it's and, and the president's plan, I'm, I'm, I'm all for. And if it's more than 40 miles away, or if there's lines that, that keep them from getting care, I think it's three months, which is frankly ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I'm completely for veterans being able to walk into a health care facility, provide their veterans card, and receive the care that they deserve. And it's not even us taking care of them. They took care of us. Mm -hmm. They need to get what they've earned and deserve. And uh, I will always be on the side of, of the veterans for, uh, for, for very good reason. 
I'm going to switch over to um, something I think it's been a, a talked about debate for a long time, especially in our area, uh, term limits. Uh, we see some people who are in their 25, 30 years as uh, career politicians. Mm -hmm. How do you feel on term limits? Um, and there, should there be different ones for uh, congressional, Senate, uh, and how do you feel on those? Well, I wrote that plan, and the plan's available, by the way, on musiforcongress.com. Uh, I, I wrote it to give substance behind some of the positions mm -hmm. and all that exist. And one of them, I do include term limits, and I put it under government accountability, a.k.a. drain the swamp. And I'll tell you what, the swamp needs to be drained. Uh, and I'm going to be someone there that's going to be working towards it, and I put, uh, I, I put a plan together to be very specific. Now, the first thing that we need to do is bring the bureaucracies under control so they follow the law and they're penalized for not following the law. The idea that our bureaucracies very often circumvent legislation mm -hmm. is completely inappropriate and, and it needs to stop and we, we can stop it by imposing penalties on those agencies that do it or on the individuals um, themselves. The second part of it is term limits. Once I believe we get the bureaucracies under control, term limits uh, can, can be done. And I call for a, a five two-year terms of a member of the House of Representatives, mm -hmm. a member of Congress, so ten, ten full years tops, and two terms for, uh, for the U.S. Senate, which will be a total of 12 years. I think if uh, that constitutional amendment can get passed, we will have more accountability. Um, we will have people that are in a little bit more of a rush and to get things done, and they'll be less likely to be uh, persuaded by special interest. And that leads to my third point in there. Once we get that, once we get people that know that, hey, we've got a short time here, we can get a balanced budget amendment, which I think is, is essential and actually can get done if we can get the special interest uh, out of the swamp as well. All right. Some good things. I'm going to stop right there and take a break. When we come back, uh, your priorities hitting the ground running uh, when elected to Congress. And what really makes Dan stand apart from the others right now who are entering the field for this race? Stay with us on Topic A. We'll be right back on WYLN. At All American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, we treat our customers like family. Because to us, nothing is more important than family. So come on in and let our family get your family into a new Chrysler Dodge Jeep or Ram. Need a work truck or have an active family lifestyle? All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. It's the Black Friday sales event. All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Tabacqua. Let's play tea. What's on TV? Plenty. WYLN TV 35, the best in local programming. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicapped accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant, and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor and private parties. Call 570-384-2314. Tickets are now on sale for the annual Sounds of the Season concert at the Alice C. Wiltsey Performing Arts Center in Hazleton. Ring in the holidays with performances by the Hazleton Philharmonic Orchestra under the direction of Robert Lagana, Fabergé Follies, Fabergé School of Dance. Tickets are $10 for adults and $5 for children. Sounds of the Season is brought to you by these businesses. Welcome back to Topic A here on WYL and everyone. And I'm talking with Dan Muser today about his run for Congress. And Dan, I want to ask you, with some of the announced candidates out there for this 11th congressional seat, what really sets you apart from the rest of the field? And 
what should people really know about you, the person, and your values taking them to Washington, D.C.? Well, I'm a conservative, first and foremost. My definition of being conservative is focusing on the policies that have made our country great and mitigating, if not eliminating, those that, that drag us down. Uh, now, my guess is uh, a couple of my opponents would likely say they're, they're conservative as well. But what truly separates us is the type of experience that I have v versus them. I mean, 25 years in the private sector, four years um, uh, reinventing uh, the bureaucracy of the Department of Revenue and being and, and having the result of, of being named the most improved Department of Revenue shows that conservative principles, business practices applied in the public sector can, can do some significant uh, things. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we've shown that. Um, I also have proven over my years to be effective, right? I mean, in, in, in business, you know, you can have great plans, you can give great speeches, but if you're not effective, you can be a conservative, but if you're not effective in carrying out that agenda, mm -hmm. what good are you, all right? M maybe you're good for a vote un unless, you, unless you feel that the best thing for you to do is, is, is to get in the way, which, which frankly too many do, right? We need constructive critics, not destructive critics. And I fear uh, that, that, uh, that, that uh, perhaps one of my opponents uh, could be just that. So I want to um, uh, show people that my experience has, has uh, made me to be someone that can be effective. Uh, but the most important reason of all is I know in my heart I want to go to Washington for all the right reasons. All right, that may sound cliche, but it's about loving my country, but it's also about, it's about the people. I feel I can go and never, never be concerned about putting, about what's, what's good for me, mm -hmm. right? It's only about what's good for the people I represent and what's best for the, for the nation as a whole. Uh, I think such as special interest and being persuaded by special interest. You know what, special interest is a problem in Washington, but for the weak and for those who, who, who aren't thinking about, about what, what's best for the, for the overall good all the time. And that's how I'll be. And uh, I, I hope I get the opportunity to do that and uh, the level of transparency that we will have and, and the, the level of interaction, people will, 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 will know on a, on a daily basis if I'm following through with my word and I, uh, I guarantee them I will. And what, um, what is your, your priorities going in? You're elected, you're sworn in the Congress. What are some of the first things that you are gonna hit the ground running with uh, in the next Congress? Well, I gotta look at what committees I get, I get put, put upon uh, and I enable myself to, uh, to be a part of uh, the small business uh, community. A committee is something that's very interesting to me. Energy and commerce, certainly over time, perhaps appropriations, uh, ways and means. There's, there's a number of, of, of important committees. But, but in general, first, we need to be behind enacting the president's agenda to make America great again, the America first agenda, because it makes sense, mm -hmm. because it's a pro-growth initiatives for our economy um, that will be focused on growing, as I stated earlier, the personal incomes of, of individuals. And it's, it's a very pro-family, pro-Pennsylvania agenda uh, that, um, that you need to not only be voting for, but a proponent of communicating and, and helping get passed, helping to enact uh, in, in a proactive manner. And frankly, you know, business experience um, teaches you to be very results oriented, mm -hmm. not problem finding oriented, if you will. Okay, so um, if somebody wants to learn more about you, how can they do so and where should they go? Well, you can just call me up. <laughs> uh, I'm throughout the 11th district all the time. Um, visit our website, uh, musicforcongress.com. Um, uh, contact me uh, via that website, and I'd love to speak with you, meet with you, uh, put a group together or individually. That's what this is all about, uh, getting to know uh, better uh, the, the, the people of the district. I know this district, the nine counties, extremely well. That's another advantage that I think I have, but I'm gonna know it uh, far better over time. So, right. musicforcongress.com and look forward to uh, uh, seeing everybody. All right, well, Dan, thanks so much for joining us here on Topic A, and thank you everyone. As I say all the time, make sure you learn about the candidates and then make sure you get out and vote. Primary in 2018 is quickly approaching. We'll see you next time.